Hi dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for Sagittarians and it's for August, a little bit over, 2024 for every Sagittarian. Welcome my dear viewers, I hope you'll enjoy this reading today. I hope it helps you understand where you're at, what's coming, what's happening, what are the most important factors for you to know and everything that you don't see and that you need to know and elaboration about the things that you do know and see welcome everyone for those of you who are new to the channel please be mindful that i prior to doing the coffee cup i meditate and i get information i write it down very quickly on a piece of paper then i come and clean it and write it peacefully nice on a piece of paper and deliver that to you right at the end of this reading so stay tuned for that now glasses on and the coffee cup looks what can i say so much of it so many details so many things so many so much that's going on here wow look at that love heart that's gorgeous absolutely beautiful mm. okay right let's start from the beginning and see what's going on the first thing just connected to the ending mm. okay so it does look like to me my dear Sagittarius that you have been going through some sort of not some sort a big sort of like difficult time and a lot of thinking a lot of planning a lot of moving a lot of changes changing your mind changing your concept adapting adapting so much adapting to change some of you are going back back and forth there's a lot happening here all right we'll start with advice and the advice that's coming here it shows that your expertise your understanding your awareness is going to help ease the difficult time for yourself and those that you love working towards more calmness more more peaceful state so that you can maneuver your way through this difficult time because it does look like there's a lot of difficulty and a, a lot of anguish i do see one incredible one amazing one glorious angel here looking over you protecting you protecting you from any harm it's as though it's got a a, be a light a beacon in, in its hand and and it's showing that you are so protected you are absolutely in grace this angel watches over you the light their light is all over for you to see everything to know that you're protected nothing can harm you nothing no matter what that is beautiful I do see something hidden from you. There are hidden matters. Hidden matters that are connected to past life, karma, that you are playing a role here in your life, what you're doing. There are situations connected to past lives that you are going through. Your intuition is trying to tell you something about past lives. There are secrets. They guarded secrets. It's amazing. Mm. I feel like uh, in this year, the year of the dragon, a lot of changes and a lot of revelations are coming for you to see, to understand who you are, where you're heading, what's happening. Even though you're tangled up in a lot of problems and there are complicated circumstances, they're not easy, they're, they're not even trouble, they're complications. Um, they're making you feel like as though you're stuck, you're all tied up, you can't move puzzles that you have to work out hassles everything is unraveling and um unraveling slowly for you to see unfolding slowly the changes are enormous and they're unfolding slowly the the most important factor that i want you to know here is that the transformations that are taking they are taking to take you to a beautiful place where you're going from here is going to be spectacular you'll understand in about what I'm talking about in two, I think. Yes, two and a half months, nearly November. Again, I see November. In November, everything is going to be, all the mystery is going to reveal itself. Everything will unfold. By November, you'll know everything, where you're standing. You're transcending everything, deception, problems procrastinations of not moving again deception i will say if there's things that have been uh, done against you all that 
uh, is going to be revealed. You are going to be seeing through everything. Your awareness is heightening. Whether you are going to go into silence or meditation, all I know is that your clarity is becoming stronger, your awareness. You might be dealing with someone arrogant. You know, you have to be very careful with this person. Try to avoid them. Try to leave them. Remove them from your life if you can. Um, there's a lot of choices that confront you now. And sometimes you are stuck. You don't know, well, should I do this or should I do that? You're bombarded with all these choices. Ultimately, there's only one that's perfect and right. And you are going to do it. It seems to me that there is a situation where you're not seeing the, the truth because of fear and and fear of loss you're not seeing uh, everything that you need to see in a situation or in a partnership i think this will heal but there is also a sting um it looks like there is going to be a bit of a sting there is that wasp there that's there is something that you're terrified you're really really terrified of something and i feel like by september that is going to be resolved a lot of changes in your life i see all these moons changes coming revealing things disruptions happening to remove things remove people remove things that are toxic in your life that are no longer needed in your life they're being removed trouble is going to end very soon mm. by december this year you'll know exactly where you're at you'll heal from all the disruption you'll be very calm you'll be more stable there is grieving over a broken relationship there is grieving over something that you're losing. I see that. There's grief. But there is also a healing. And there is also a moving towards a better place. Trust your inner knowing. Trust your, your guiding angels. Trust them. Because you are going to be freed from this. All these conundrums. There's so much. Believe in yourself. Believe in your power. Freedom is going to be yours. Happiness is going to be yours. But freedom more than anything. For what you've been fighting for, that which you have been fighting for, uh, I feel like it's all going to... Someone, if there's, if, if there's situations challenging your authority, what you stand for, you are going to be winning. Um, you are going to be very strong and, and supported also. You're very supported, very much. Sorry, my dear girls, I have to drink some water. So, like I said, um, you know, in the midst of everything, I'm seeing this amazing owl that's got two glasses. You're seeing things incredibly. You're aware. Even in the midst of questioning and thinking, am I in the right place? Am I doing the right thing? Is this what I'm supposed to be? Yes, you are. You are exactly where you need to be. You don't have to question it. You just have to have faith in everything. Have faith in the heavens. Don't lose your faith. Expand expand your way of looking at things, your perceptive, ex, your uh, perception. Uh, expand it. Look beyond everything. Don't look just in the where you're at. Look beyond. Look the bigger picture. You'll see things are happening for a reason. If you're becoming more and more dissatisfied with everything and you're finding yourself you're emotionally exhausted that's happening for a reason it's to take you out of depression at the end of the day and release you from something that you thought someone that you thought happiness was that person had the answers for your happiness you'll find out that it isn't you are the only one you are the only one who will bring happiness into your life expecting it from someone else can never work you'll always be disappointed very rare that you can expect your happiness to be with someone or the answer to your happiness to be with someone else. It's always within you. You do have choices. I see that. You have to choose wisely. Again, with the owl, you need to choose wisely to maneuver your way out of this difficulty, out of this darkness and into the light. I'm seeing, you know, finally you're getting to know that you had a higher calling than where you are, where you were at stuck. Now something is bringing you so much clarity. Again, it's the this beautiful big owl brings you awareness and clarity and seeing truthfully that there is a new connection. After an end of a connection, there is a new connection that you were destined to be a calling for you. There could be a child involved, possibly. There is a child involved. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the heavens. And you will see that success is going to be yours. Um... 
don't ever be worried about competition if you're worried about competition or if you're concerned just don't worry about that you you have an amazing incredible opportunity coming your way don't risk anything because if you risk it says here it shows that uh, you will fail don't risk anything you do have a lot of options and i feel like in the midst of these options something miraculous is taking place and a great opportunity rises there is a, a part of you that wants space you want your own space maybe you are too uh, involved in something very deep or too much you want space and you are going to get your space you are devoted you are majestic you give and you do and you help and you're fair and you're you have so much uh, authority you're so capable my dear Sagittarius, you are so capable. But um, I feel like sometimes um, sometimes you drown yourself in giving too much and, and then you, you're left without um, your freedom. Sometimes you yourself put yourself in positions where you are so busy to the point that you become exhausted. So you need to so slowly release yourself i do see um, freedom i do see a new beginning i do see also the letter a here very strong i see a beautiful bird there's news coming there's also a lucrative idea here more income a new source of income there is a new source of income this is beautiful some of you could be starting a new job some of you could be starting uh, your own business collaborating with others but abundance is coming money that's easy that's coming big amounts of money I feel like divine is now intervening in your life. They're all over the place, watching over you, trying to bring you power, glory, strength, and control over your life. I feel like there could be a connection with someone very wonderful that you can work well together. Uh, someone with leadership abilities, someone very capable, someone that you can trust, someone that uh, assumes control of a situation, and they manifest it, they make it happen. There is a hidden treasure for you something hidden that you're not aware of there's so much money and so much treasure hidden for you coming in your life very soon it's like there's two keys locking it maybe it's two two months two years but there are two major keys locking this safe that's got all these jewelry like like this amazing treasure these two uh keys are going to be unlocked in due time i see the greatest gift from you from the heavens for you I see loving family, joy, inner peace, happiness, and abundance, both together, all of these together. You're letting your guard down and falling in love, but this is a little bit later on. It's not right now. I'm seeing the sun shine in your path and giving you um, a lot to be grateful for. There's amazing love coming in your life. Expect someone incredible. Not only you're succeeding and there's good health, but there is love someone amazing someone on a very high level the greatest love of all you know it's going to start as an intense friendship and then it's just you're falling you can trust this person this is your soulmate trust me that when i tell you this is your soulmate you are going to be in bliss absolute heaven and putting firm foundations together planning this is looking into the future. That's what this does, this coffee. Like we're talking August and it goes a little bit further. I'm seeing um, you're having a lot of money, a lot of money. You're celebrating life, but without love, you're not happy. You want your freedom and you want love and you're getting them both. You're getting a your freedom and you are getting love too. Someone, like I said, a soulmate where you walk together in support. But you've got your space. You both want your space. So the space is there. You've got so many ideas. You're sharing them with this person. These ideas, once they're put into action or they're shared, they bring on a lot of changes, necessary changes to, to upgrade you, to give you more happiness. It's. I just feel like um, the, spirit, the spirits or the, the heavens are very generous with you. They are going to be very generous with you. I do see um, there's a lot of pleasure with a close friend extreme pleasure mm. you're receiving with so much love and appreciation it's like you're so um what's the word graciously accepting something amazing something and that something is connected to love maybe someone is offering you like their their love on a on a what on a golden platter how can i say that i just feel like the way you're shown love, the way it's being presented, you're just so graciously 
accepting. I'm just amazed at this part here. Be very careful when there's a lot of money coming your way because it looks to me like there are some uh, people like financial advisors or someone that might not be advising you the right thing. Just be very careful when you come into large sums of money. There could be inheritance or lottery winnings, investments paying off. It's a big amount of money. Just don't trust anybody. You are going to live a life filled with wealth. You need to focus on love more than anything else. And what is good for everybody, working well with everybody. I see um, that you are, before you actually meet this person, you're, go, you're going to feel this person coming. And you'll feel like once you do meet them, it's like you want them all the time, like you're not getting enough of them, something about them. It's going to transcend your love life to higher levels beyond your imagination. I've got number eight and nine here, could be... For some of you, they could have come now, the loved one. I feel like it could be eight weeks to eight to nine, nine weeks. I know it sounds a lot, um, but I feel like even September possibly or even more than September. I'm seeing water energy very strong, my dear Sag, and the water energy that I'm seeing the most of, there's two water energies, one of which is there's so many of them, fish. It's this, uh, the Pisces. Pisces here, the strongest. Pisces, wow. And then I'm seeing Cancer and I'm seeing Scorpio, but Pisces has taken over. Four Pisces and like four sets of fish and then there's three crabs and then two Scorpios. But the majority here is Pisces. And then comes Cancer, then comes um, Scorpio. Strong Sagittarius here. This person's got Sagittarius in them like you. So there could be someone that has Sagittarius very strong in them. Then there might be Pisces with Sagittarius and you will blend beautifully together, replenishing one, the other, the fire and the water together. It's just magnificent. The only thing missing is Earth. Uh, talking about fire, there's also uh, a little bit of Leo here and Aries, but Sagittarius is the most. So you could be dealing with someone like yourself, Sagittarius with Pisces. And uh, then you've got, you know, for some of you, there could be Leo or Aries. Now, air energy is here also, and I'm seeing Aquarius being the strongest. A lot of Aquarius. You could be dealing with someone that has a lot of Aquarius. You could be, yes, Aquarius. I'm seeing uh, Libra and Gemini, just two two of each, but Aquarius is four of them. So there's someone that has a lot of Aquarius in them that you're dealing with on a, on a high level. Earth energy, there are two Earth energies. So these two Earth energies could be family. They could be connected to that fire and Pisces, the Pisces and Sagittarius that I was talking about. And the Earth energies that are the strongest here, um, looks to me, they're, they're not, there isn't one stronger than the other. There are two Earth energies, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. But the Taurus has Libra in them, so that you know there's Libra. There was a lot of Libra in the air energies too, so Libra, Taurus is very strong here again. Now, Chinese here of the horse is all over the place. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, five. Horses. Chinese year of the horse for those of you who are born the Chinese year of the horse for those of you who are born the Chinese year of the ox buffalo they go great together their family practically and lovers and soulmates the horse and the ox buffalo then you've got the rat here I see the rat and I see the tiger Chinese year of the tiger and the rooster the, the rooster and, and the rat they go beautifully together and then you got the tiger goes perfect well with the rooster. Then I see the dragon. One, two, three, dragon. Chinese year of the dragon. And then the goat. Uh, the dragon and the goat go good together. They're not really soulmates, but they're okay together. Uh, the goat goes beautiful with the rat. So that is that. And now I'm going to start delivering. I think there's more, but it's going to be too long. So I'll just stop here and... Um, deliver to you these messages okay first we've got big help from the heavens just like I saw before and I was saying that you are uh, destined uh, not your destined there's that guardian beautiful angel that's holding a light for you and, and taking care of you you're in grace and supported and protected um, it says you must see something important that you've got to see you really have to see sorry I might have dropped my pens <laughs> pencils okay um, you must see something, something very important. You've got to see it. And again, it says guidance and support. So big help from the heavens, and then you've got guidance and support. 
uh, from the heavens, of course, and maybe from others around you. Going back, some of you are going back. Maybe you've left something and you're going back to it. Stressed, you're not going back happy. You might be stressed and you're going back, maybe because you're bored or emotionally lethargic. That's what I saw here. You're not leaving. You're maybe trying to leave, but you can't leave. Not leaving. So they're letting you know if you're planning to leave a situation, you're not leaving. And there's something that you need to know. There's no loyalty with someone. No loyalty. They're not loyal. This is um, in regard to... So I was just given not loyal, just like that. Very interesting. Something very interesting takes place. There's no waste. Nothing will be wasted. I was shown a palm tree and told that it's all about abundance. It's also about fruitfulness and abundance. Online dating. Some of you will be thinking of online dating or supporting someone on online dating. Long term. There's something really long term happening. Meeting someone incredible. Destined. Wow. It's absolutely destined. And lost love. Very interesting. So online dating, long term, it's destined and lost love. So let's have a look at um, all the names and initials. I was given twice the letter C for Charlie, Canada. Um, yes. Uh, I was given twice the letter U for umbrella or under. I was given twice the letter Y for yes or yellow. Then I was given F for France um, R for Rome, Rooster, E for Eggs, Elephant, S for Steam, uh, Scorpio, T for Tiger, Thailand, K for Kangaroo, Koala, A for Apple, Alaska, N for Norway, No, I for Indigo, and I am. I was given the family number five for everybody. This year is the year of the dragon, Chinese year of the dragon, 2024. The five is the dragon and also it is connected to people that are born uh, in May. It's connected to May, which are Taurus and Gemini. Connected to a lot of changes. Everything I saw here in your cup, which was just changes, incredible changes and changes. It is all that happening for you. Changes beyond imagination. From the time you see this cup up to five months, it won't stop. Changes after changes after changes for you. It won't tell me what changes, just a lot of changes. This year is going to be all about changes to get you settled for next year. And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free to do so. It takes a few seconds and supports me big time. And seeing the video all the way to the end supports me big time. So please do that for me. I can't wait to hear your comments. Give me a thumbs up and a lot of love and light to each and every one of you. Namaste.